Hi, my name is Lauren Sabitney and this is your video walk around for the 2014 Dodge Durango Limited. This particular one has the black interior and the black exterior that you are looking for. This is your shift knob here, so you just put it on the brake like you normally would and you would just toggle back and forth like that. And then also I'll draw your attention to the 8.4 inch touch screen here. So right now we're on um, satellite radio, you get one free year. You also have AM and FM. You can switch between them by just pushing this button here on the steering wheel. It's just the voice recognition button. Satellite. Tuning to satellite radio. And then within that, you can even change it by just saying the number you want to change it to. 15. Tuning to satellite channel 15. Same with FM, you can go 102.9, whatever station you like to listen to. And then also for the media devices here, you've got a disc that you can input, as well as auxiliary, USB, and SD card here. And then the controls, heated seat, heated steering wheel, the automatic mirror dimmer, headrest fold, so the back row will fold down the headrest for you automatically um, if you find that they're impeding your rear view mirror. The climate controls are here or you can control them here. Your phone, your, for your Bluetooth, you can pair a phone obviously. And then there's settings, you can kind of fiddle with the settings if you want all the doors to unlock when you push the unlock button for example. And then here we've got parking sensors. So when you're at low speeds, going in reverse, um, your park assist comes on. And you can turn that off just in case, say you're towing something. Uh, you don't want it constantly beeping when you're at low speeds. Eco mode will change the timing of the gears so that you save more fuel. This button will defrost the rear mirrors as well as the side mirrors. And then let's go into a couple details on the steering wheel here. So you have your cruise control here, you push this button to turn it on, and then the, either this button or this button to set it, and then you can go up and down in one kilometer increments, cancel here, turn the whole system off by pushing that button again. On the back here, we've got volume controls, so you can go up and down, just like that. And then on the other side would be your um, radio station control, so you can scan between different stations. And then you can answer calls by pushing this button, end calls by pushing this button. And then you have your paddle shifters here as well. So just pushing one of them will automatically engage the paddle shifters. And then um, you can turn them off just by either putting it in neutral or you can um, put it in, um, or push, put your foot on the brake, sorry. And then also the electronic vehicle information system here. So uh, we're not actually, let's turn it on just so we can show you. So right now we're on kilometers per hour. You can change it to miles per hour if you're in the States. And then your individual tire pressure of each tire makes it really convenient in the winter. So this is your vehicle info. You'll see as I scroll to the side now, the toggle on the bottom will change. Now we're on transition temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, oil life, battery voltage, that sort of thing. Fuel economy gives you an average as well as your exact fuel economy depending on how you're driving the car. You can also reset that. Trip A and trip B, you know, um, whatever um, music is playing. And then the diagnosis. So it runs a self-diagnosis. If there's anything wrong, it'll come up as a message here. And you can personalize this screen as well, okay? Now I'm just gonna take you guys into the back seat really quick. You also have memory seating here. So if you have two different people driving, you guys can just push the button and it'll automatically set everything including the power seat to your specifications. Now in the back seat here, this has the captain's chairs. You've got a center console back here as well as illuminated cup holders. More USB connections down there, we've got two and these back seats are also heated. Now these will just fold flat. To show you the back seat there, that's the seven seater row. And then I'll just give you a quick walk around. You got the nice big tires on this one also. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and I just wanted to show you the back seat. So those will all fold flat too if you just want some extra storage. And you have a 12 volt back here as well as grocery hooks. 
again, my name is Lauren Savitney, and I'll be your sales associate here at London Dairy Dodge. Just give me a call if you have any questions, okay?